do your father? My father, son of a brigadier general, grandson of a general, you know, for centuries. Um, joined up in whatever was commissioned in 45, I think, 44, um, and very quickly was wounded in France, as I understand it. Apparently discharged himself from the field hospital where he was and went back, was on his way back to the front with a, with a wound in his shoulder and was shot off a tank and lost a leg. Um, and, and, and my brothers and I um, were brought up with this one-legged man who never referred to it, never even referred to the fact that he had one leg and went out of his way to be, as he still is at the age of 85, incredibly active and, um, and uh, we're always laughing about the fact that he will probably fall off a ladder eventually. I mean, he, his, his denial of this wound has been a very strong story in our family. I remember one, one moment when my brothers and I were teenagers watching some cowboy film on television. And I remember one of my brothers saying, I bet you don't die as quickly as that. And my father was in the corner reading the Daily Telegraph, crumpled down the paper and said, you don't, crumpled it up again. And that was all my brothers and I have ever had from him about the experience, really. But it, it, that speaks volumes. Yeah, volumes.